What up, peoples? Welcome to another show of the Al York Sports Show. You already know what the fuck it is. I'm going to continue to give y'all content, man. Salute to the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, Vegas Strong, Vegas Knights, LES to the death. Before I give y'all this bonus coverage, I had one of my white mans come at me. He was like, yo, Al, man, you forgetting us, man. I said, I ain't forgetting y'all, man. I, right now, I'm just I'm talking to my peoples, man. But you know what? I got something for y'all. Matter of fact, the next video, I got you. Don't even worry about it. I got you. Just tune in. I got you. All right? Here you go right here. Enjoy it, baby. Al your spizzles. <laughs> nothing man just do what you do i do what i do do what you do don't worry about what i'm doing do what you do man i got this man. real talk man Al your spizzles baby i'm just a dude seeking for Perfection. My name is Al York and I'm giving niggas breakfast I rep the lower, go I live in Vegas I don't give a fuck, I hate your fucking guts L.E.S. L.E.S. Yes, L E S. Time for your mind. L E L E L E S. 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 Al York Sports Show, baby. Y'all know how I give it up, man. Let's get it, baby. Let's go to our top topics. Uh, salute to everybody, man. I, I, I'm not calling nobody out specifically, man. Salute to everybody, man. Let's start with our first subject. We're going to college football. The bowl games. I'm going to nip on the bowl games. I got my opinion on the bowl games. I think it's too many bowl games. It's about 30, 35 plus bowl games. They need to stop that. They need to stop all that Buffalo.com bowl, that Metal City bowl, that fan in your ass bowl. Stop all that shit, man. Listen, man. Break it down to like maybe 15, max 20. And make the games more competitive. Instead of, you know, forget about quantity. Let's get quality. You understand what I'm saying? I, and me as a, you know, as a professional handicapper, I like games. But these games are horrible, man. I mean... You have to narrow it down, man. Narrow it down to 15, 20. Stop being greedy, college. It's bad enough y'all not paying the football players. You're not playing the students. And now y'all oversaturating it with extra games to get more money. Dead that, man. That shit is garbage. These bowl games were garbage, straight up and down. And the playoff system, I think they should add two more teams and make it a 16 format. But this is what you guys do. The number one rank, the number two rank, you give them a bye week because they earned them rankings. And now when you got teams like Ohio State, Georgia, and UCF that felt that shit and made it, now they can get in, play that, you know, kind of like that wild card-ish first playoff with the one and two with a bye. Let them earn their way to play these top teams, man. This is how you do this, man. And then you ain't got to worry about Bama or Clemson, the number one or number twos, playing extra games because of the bye week. And the teams that barely make it in should be the teams that play the extra games. But those are my opinions. Lower the bowl games to less games and add two teams to the playoff system. I think that'll make it more intriguing. That's my opinion. Now we're going to uh, the NFL. What's going on with Antonio Brown, man? Yo, AB, man, what's going on, dog? You know what I mean? I understand you a diva now. I understand you top three wide receiver. Or you could be top one in a lot of people's books. But, yo, you wilding out, man. You ain't coming to work, man. Now you skipping meetings. 
you skip in mandatory meetings, and then you expect to get in because you Antonio Brown. Y'all dudes is disrespecting Mike Tomlin. But I'm going to knock Mike Tomlin because this been going on with Tomlin. This was going on when Legarius Blunt was there. Le'Veon Blunt, uh, Bell acted up. Octavius Bryant acted up. I mean, the list keeps going and going. Antonio Brown. I mean, mad dudes, man. Like, how y'all not respecting this brother, man? Like, this brother's a good dude, man. I mean, I don't know what goes on in the locker room, but he, I mean, everybody else love him. Big Ben love him. Everybody love him, man. You guys are overstepping your boundaries, and y'all fucking up, and now y'all going, you know, this team's basically broken up because Le'Veon ain't there. Blunt is gone. Brian is gone. And next is A.B. So, Tomlin, I respect that you benched him this Sunday, but this is something you should have been done because now, it's overlapping, meaning that dudes is just feeling like, like you soft. And now by you benching Brown and stepping up to the plate, when you had that interview and you said that uh, you heard rumors that he asked for a trade and he didn't, well, you know what? Whatever the fuck it is, start disciplining these motherfuckers. I don't care how much money they're getting. You need to start disciplining these dudes, man. These dudes is acting up for no reason. They ain't even winning like that. I could see if you ran through about two or three chips and you acting like divas. Man, they haven't won a chip in God knows how long. What, like, like seven, eight years? You know what I mean? Then they lost to the Packers about that long ago. Also, Big Bang got two titles. And everybody that I just mentioned now maybe got one. Maybe if they was in our, on that team. So discipline these individuals. Set your boundaries. Set your rules for next year. Plan them on the wall as soon as they walk in, in the locker room. And get some... Get, you know what I mean? Get some toughness in there. Get some discipline written up and let people know that if you violate the team regulations, you are getting benched and fined. Bottom line. Now let's go to the uh, NFL playoffs. This is my part of the season. Uh, this is the free pick segment. We're going to the wild card Saturday, wild card Sunday, and then next week we start getting them up, them other playoff games and then we get the conference finals then we get the Super Bowl. But as for my free picks, we go going to AT&T Stadium with the 10-6 Seattle Seahawks. I'm playing the telling 6 Dallas Cowboys. Don't boy, that's my team. Remember, you guys know, I, I don't bet with my heart. I bet who I think is going to win the game, right? Fortunately, I think the Cowboys are going to win this game. The line is minus 2 in this game. Last time I did a minus two, my team won by one. So we're going to money line the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys on the money line against Russell the Muscle, Pete Carroll and company that put up a terrific year. Only problem is they rank 16th on defense. The Cowboys are ranked seventh. The Cowboys are seven and one at home and they annihilated Drew Brees and company. And if you think that Russell Wilson is going to go there and light them up, that ain't going to happen. They're going to take Russell away. There's no real stars offensively or defensively. One thing about Seattle, they play like next man up type of football. Uh, Russell the Muscle and Baldwin, they best play it, maybe lock it a little bit. And on defense, you got my boy Bobby Wagner, who I love. But he's the last member of the Legion of Boom, and everybody's playing above their head. This is a playoff game, and they're not in the 12th man in Seattle. You know what I mean? And, and Century Link Stadium, where they normally handle business, they outside of that. Cowboys should and will win this game. Take the Cowboys on the money line. Pick number two. We going to NRG Stadium with a ten and six Indianapolis Colts are playing the eleven and five Houston Texans. Now this one I'm doing a prop bet. I'm gonna start going to that format. Straight play prop bet teaser. Because those are my strengths. I was doing straight, straight, and teaser. And I noticed that I'm pulling up more one and twos lately than two and ones when I'm not playing to my strengths. So I'm going to start playing to my strengths. We're going to take a prop bet. It's a quarterback prop bet. Andrew Luck over 299 yards. If it goes to 203, I mean, 302, 303, 304, 305, take it. If it starts going like 307, 310, leave it alone. That's too high. That means they overbet it. And usually when, when, a, when a game gets overbet, it usually don't play out. But I got it over 299 Andrew Luck passing yards. Now, my last uh, free pick is a two-team seven-point teaser. 
Oh, this is going to be a good game right here. You got the Los Angeles Chargers, 12-4 and four at 10-6, Baltimore Ravens. The line is minus three, Baltimore. A couple weeks ago, Baltimore tamed them at L.A. They shut them down. They beat them like 22-10. Uh, Phillip Rivers and company couldn't do anything. But what I'm going to do on the first part of my seven-point teaser, believe it or not, I'm going to take the Chargers from plus three all the way to plus ten. The Chargers are a great road team. They 7-1 on the road. They will show up considering that Baltimore did them dirty a couple of weeks ago. Chargers plus 10. That's not to say that Baltimore can't win. Baltimore could win by 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the first part of the tease will win. Long as that the Chargers don't get blown out by 10 or more points, which I don't think is going to happen on a second game in a year that they already got beat by 12 points the first game. Charges are way too good to get blown out again. Take the charges at plus 10 in the first part of the teaser. Now, my second part of the teaser, we go into Soldier Field. I was breaking my head on this, man. As the 9-7 and seven champions, Philadelphia Eagles, are playing at 12-4 and four, Chicago Bears. Now, the Eagles are going to show up. Eagles that they think they haven't lost with Nick Foles. Nick Foles is that dude. But I just think the Bears didn't go this hard all year. To lose tomorrow at home. Nagy got them boys playing. I like how they moving these wide receivers around. Trubisky's running the ball. Throwing the ball. You know what I mean? Harris is running the rock. Uh, defensively, Khalil Mack and company. You know what I mean? Roquan Smith. Tevi on them guys are balling. I got the bids from a minus six to a plus one. So from a minus six to a plus one, I almost put the Eagles to plus 13, but I was just thinking Bears up by seven late, punch it in, go up by 14, lose the ticket. No, Bears is not losing them all. I mean, Sunday, Bears will win. So the teaser looks like this, real simple. Charges up to plus 10, Bears down from minus six to plus one. That's your two-team seven-point teaser, your free picks, Al your Sports. Let's get it, y'all. Salute to everybody. LES, Vegas, Vegas Knights. I love y'all. Continue to tune in, and I got y'all. And I'm going to keep y'all posted on the Al York Sports Movement, man. Keep your head up, man. LES to the death. Vegas strong, baby. Love.